Now I have a small loop that I kind of like, I'm not really happy with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to export the loop and then put some effects on it to make it sound a lot cooler than it sounds as it is. So we go render to disk and we're going to render as a loop just this little part. But I almost forgot I need to make sure it's soloed. That way we just record and render the bass line. We want, it. we want a good, clean signal, so we get it boosted, and then we render it. Just want to render that loop. We're going to save it just in my generic samples folder. Call it loops. And save. What I did there is I rendered rendered the entire section of what we just played, and now I'm going to find the cool part of that. So down in this view, we have our clip view within Ableton Live, and that allows us to zoom in on the different parts of the files that we like and create the part that we want to hear. So we zoom all the way to the beginning, and we create a uh, check to where the first beat is. So it's somewhere around there. Let's zoom in and find out exactly. Which is right there. And then zoom out and create the file that we want. So I'm going to actually take a loop of a section of the track that's over here. Zoom in. Zoom in some more. Find that first beat. Create a marker for it, and then generate my loop. So I set the marker there, zoom out a little bit more, and have my loop. So we got to push this to make sure it loops, and then test it. Got the beat. And hopefully, let's see if it works, the loop. Now it didn't play exactly on time because I forgot one important part and that is setting the start point. I accidentally set the start point at the beginning which is where it should be because I left it there but I really wanted the loop to start somewhere at the end here around the 32 bar so I'm taking the start point and setting it at the 32 bar and making sure that the loop ends when it's supposed to which is over here. I'll readjust that to be right there, and zoom out a little bit more, and move this one over there. The key to Ableton is to line up everything perfectly. So we'll see how well this works. <laughs> The great thing about live is that you could adjust the, the tempo if it's not perfectly on. As I just did right there, I moved it around a little bit. You can even... You can do a lot of really cool effects with time stretches. And if you want to uh, 